Most of the time, I know what to say. This morning, I didn't. The phone rang and I recognized the number. I heard my name and I instantly knew. I am no longer cancer free. Ask me your questions Oh, let's go back to the morning good morning how are you doing i'm it's, good it's Feeling fine very day. bright lad bushy tailed on a monday morning oh nice what yeah. um what, what have you got on this week then what's the plan i have a very busy week actually um i have two campaigns which are live and oh, wow. uh, one of which which is a phone launch uh the content's all being posted out on tuesday so i need to make sure everything's in order all the post copy's been approved they post it out on time and the client is happy. Um, and then for campaign number two, I need to just ensure everything is in order with all the influencers. They're getting their agreements signed. Um, the shoot dates are on time and the schedule for the shoot date is all ready. So yeah, busy week, lots of back and forth, lots of emails, lots of phone calls. It's gonna be good. Can you also tell me what this stuff is over here? Oh, now this is very exciting as we have three newbies coming to join so this is one two wait that's so light is there anything in it <laughs> <laughs> are that's you so sure fucking light. are you sure that's like there's three desks there yeah um well, are they I like think... are they like those children's desks that you can buy I from don't ikea know, but that's far too light like i'm a pussy and i can't usually lift okay it's quite heavy um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that's why you may see the office has changed around a little bit the sofa has moved slightly um the lamp never was there before and we're gonna put the desks right here so they get to stare at our lovely socially powerful sign lovely and stuff yeah so that's about it your bed's coming back slowly a little bit look at that uh, i could talk to james basically um you giving me the updates. Yeah, so the, the second test came back and they found like 0.07% of cells still in my system. Yeah, um, so what does that mean then? It means that they, they were basically telling me that I'm going to be fine because like it's been negative ever since. Um, so they think that there's just a couple of cells that are resistant to the chemo. So mm. um, they don't want to continue with the chemo, but they want to do some immunotherapy. Yeah. So well, the good news that, is it's yeah, not like, was, um, sorry, sir, there's so nothing we can do for you. Yeah. Um, there's other things to try. Mm. Um, it was just a bit shit when I got the call mm. um, in the morning. She said my name and I was just like, oh no. Like, Tass. Mm. Yeah. Um, at least I'm not dead yet. Yeah, two haven't shown up, two cancelled yeah. today. One cancelled last night as well. Yeah. So. so I'll go through with in order. So Claire yeah. is the first one. Claire, yeah. Um she was so okay. First part, how, you know, how did you find it? How did you find what? To like interview people. Um I think it was good. Like I didn't go for like a too head-on approach, like I just made it more of like a conversation rather than like firing questions that are making them feel uncomfortable. Um but yeah, sometimes it is a bit like what to say obviously because I've only been in this job for seven months so but um, no it was good really good experience just seeing how people react to something I think especially giving them the like the grammatical task at the beginning it did like stump them a bit they're like oh like they weren't expecting it so I think that's always good to 
do something they won't expect at the interview to see how they're... It was like a little grammatical task where we got Christina to make a few like very subtle mistakes in one of the slides and one of the decks. And then we got them to see how many they could pick out and most people only got like three or four and there were 11. But they're very, really, really yeah, slight things. that's all good because then yeah, you exactly. tell someone's got attention to detail. Yeah. But she's available from now. At the moment she's just doing like... Um, online training courses in project management and Excel and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, she was good. Uh, she's got a master's in marketing, but she originally did psychology. She, so yeah, she's got that experience. She's from Colchester though, that's the only problem. What, what is the problem? Colchester's half an hour further than mine. So oh, it'd okay. be an hour in the mornings, like just on the train and then you've got travel either side. But yeah, as I said, she seemed a little bit reserved, me and Tash thought, but she seemed to know her stuff, had a bit of relevant experience sort of doing um, social media. Um, she did like copywriting, so oh, nice. yeah. That's so, really good. Yeah. I will, I will contact them now actually and say like, if you right. come for the final round. Yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah, I said you'd be in contact in the next few days. They might have a few more questions like as well that probably only you can answer, so. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sweet. Perfect. Thanks a lot. No worries. I'll go back up. Do you wanna keep their CVs on there? No, no, I have to. <laughs> So where does that leave us? What would you do? As long as there are options, as long as there's time. So a summary of what happened, I woke up this morning and got a phone call from the hospital and the bone marrow test that they ran basically came back with traces of leukemia still showing. Um, they're not entirely sure why, but they think that the uh, remaining leukemia cells and it's like 0, 0.000 something. Um, they're resistant to the chemo, so they're going to put me on a different drug. It's going to prolong everything, and I'm going to have to um, go and get a transplant now um, just to make sure it basically gets out of my system. So, yeah, pretty gutting news. Uh, it's scary to know that you've got cells in your body that are reproducing resistant to chemo. Um, it's disheartening um, knowing that you've just done eight months of super intense chemo. Um, my hair is still not back, um, but yeah, it's, if it's done that to my hair, imagine everything else it's done inside, um, but there are still leukemia cells left, so all I can do is just continue uh, fighting one day at a time. Um, I'm determined though just to kind of go, all right, um, let's go all out, let's just continue telling our story, let's continue working, I want to be involved with the business, I'm not just going to retreat to a hospital bed and feel sorry for myself. Whatever I can do to just keep cracking on, um, I'm gonna do, and it's not gonna be easy. Um, yeah, there's work to do with the business, um, and yeah, we're hiring new people. Uh, we are, James just won a new project, so there's stuff going on, um, and actually I also don't want my personal situation to affect the other guys and pull everyone's energy down. Um, so I want to, when I can, just contribute and, you know, do my part like I said I would and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to, um, but with a lot of this I don't know how I'll react to it. So there's no point making any plans, there's no point kind of saying, okay, this is how it's going to be, it's going to be exactly these amount of days, it's going to be, you know, three months then I'll be done, like there's no point, you just got to take one day at a time and I find that one of the hardest lessons, super difficult just to kind of be patient, focus on the here and now, not think too far ahead um, and give it your all without falling into some sort of slump. Um, so the challenge remains the same, just the, the tactics have differed a little bit. So yeah, that's it. Honestly and openly documenting everything that's happening in 2018. That's uh, my update. Let's just crack on with it then. Walk up. It. Yeah. Walk up, go on. Go on. Sit a bit. <laughs>